I came not to send peace on earth, but a sword. Matthew 10, verse 34. The Christian will be sure to make enemies. It will be one of his objects to make none. But if to do the right and to believe the true should cause him to lose every earthly friend, he will count it but a small loss, since his great friend in heaven will be yet more friendly and reveal himself to him more graciously than ever. O ye that have taken up the cross, know ye not what your master said? I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Christ is the great peacemaker, but before peace he brings war. Where the light cometh, the darkness must retire. Where truth is, the lie must flee, or if abideth, there must be a stern conflict, for the truth cannot and will not lower its standard, and the lie will be trodden underfoot. If you follow Christ, you shall have all the dogs of the world yep, yelping at your heels. If you would live so as to stand the test of the last tribunal, depend upon it, the world will not speak well of you. He who has the friendship of the world is an enemy of God. But if you are true and faithful to the Most High, men will resent your unflinching fidelity, since it is a testimony against their iniquities. Fearless of all consequences, you must do the right. You will need the courage of a lion unhesitatingly to pursue a course which shall turn your best friend into your fiercest foe. But for the love of Jesus, you must thus be courageous. For the truth's sake to hazard reputation and affection is such a deed that to do it constantly, you will need a degree of moral principle which only the Spirit of God can work in you. Yet turn not your back like a coward, but play the man. Follow right manly in your master's steps, for he has traversed this rough way before you. Better a brief warfare and eternal rest than false peace and everlasting torment. I came not to send peace on earth, but a sword. Matthew 10, verse 34.